Yo, what's up, friends? It's Dave. Happy Monday. It's Monday, July 3rd, almost 8.30 a.m. in the Eastern Time Zone. Hey, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from, all that good stuff. I want to chat with you today about charting your own course, your own path to freedom. If you're like me, around my age, probably 10 years, maybe even 20 years younger than me, definitely older than me, we were taught growing up pretty much to go to school, get a degree, get a job, and you'll live happily ever after. You'll be taken care of, everything will be great with the world, and it's all going to work out, right? And that premise was based on the idea of that you would work for a company for however many years, and you would get retirement, uh, a pension, remember those, and medical and dental benefits forever. And that worked for a really long time. But people my age and younger, definitely, that's not the way anymore. And lots of people now who work in corporate jobs, at least in America, they don't stay anywhere more than like two or three years on average. Generally, people kind of bounce around. So there's no longevity of a career at one place. And there's certainly not a pension where somebody works 20 years. Now, if you work in government for a school system, for the postal service, something like that, yes, there's still those things, at least in the US, probably in other countries as well. But generally, that doesn't work anymore. So the good news is, though, you can chart your own path to freedom, and it all it really involves is teaching stuff that you already know, sharing knowledge that you already know. It's called the creator economy, and really all that is is creating memberships or courses or coaching, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, whatever, online. Goldman Sachs has estimated that the creator economy right now is roughly about $200 billion, with a B, $200 billion a year. And that's projected to go to about half a trillion in the next four years. So it's not too late for you. You can still get in, right? There's, it looks like it's going to double and then some in the next four years. So you can still jump in on it. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I don't know how to do that. Well, the good news is I teach a lot of this stuff. I share a lot of resources and assets and tools and mindset and skill set and talk about the tools and all that stuff in these places. So depending on where you're watching this right now, you could be watching me in uh, my digital marketing mentorship group. And if that's the case, you're in a good spot. You're learning about the tools and stuff like that. But if you're not part of that group, you should probably check it out. If you're not listening to my podcast, Unleash the Awesome, where I talk about the mindset of success, you probably should do that. Maybe you're watching me on YouTube right now. I share a lot of good stuff on this channel. Some of the things from both of those places, as well as different stuff. And I share product demos and I show you use cases of a bunch of different things. And so you, if you happen to be watching this anywhere but my YouTube channel, you might want to go over there and check that out and subscribe to that as well. Because I talk about a lot of this stuff on a consistent basis. I have a resource guide, a digital entrepreneur's resource guide you can get access to. If you want that, let me know. Wherever you happen to be watching this, I'll make sure uh, in the comments or description or whatever. I'll give you the link to that. But the thing is, it's, it's easier than a lot of people make it seem, okay? It's where I should say simpler, all right? It's not easy. There are some steps you have to do, but it is simple. And all it really has to do with is getting stuff that you already know out of your head and into a course online. Just teach it, right? And it doesn't need to be stuff that you even have a degree in. A lot of you probably have a job that has nothing to do with the degree that you have, right? And yet, if I said to you, hey, you have some expertise in this area, you should teach it. You would say, well, I'm not certified in that. I don't have a degree in that. Yeah, well, you don't have one in the job you're working at either, right? <clears throat> if you're good at something, if you figured out how to do something, if you have solved some problems, if you have started down the path of mastery and you started, let's say the path of mastery starts at A and it goes all the way to Z, okay? And you went from A to like G or H or I, then you are actually uniquely qualified to help the people that you used to be meaning the people that are just getting started, A, B, and C. You don't need to get all the way to Z. You don't need to have your doctorate, your PhD. You don't need to have a certification. You don't need to have somebody bless you as an expert. You don't need to have a press release. You don't need to have press coverage. You don't need to have all of that stuff. Some of those things will be helpful maybe. But if you went from A to G, H, I, whatever, and you turn around and say, hey, all of you people trying to do this thing, crochet, play guitar, lose weight, get fit, get healthy, do digital marketing online, start a podcast. Hey, I just did this thing. Here's my journey. Here's my path. Here's what I did. Maybe some of the things that I did will help you too. Let me show you how I did it. People that are at A, B, C, D, whatever, you know, the path behind you. And the cool thing is, as you continue to progress, as you continue to get better, as you continue to evolve, because you will, 
you'll move up the path of mastery. So you'll go from G, H, I, you'll be up at LMNLP, whatever, you'll start working your way closer to Z. I believe that you'll never totally get to Z because you can't be perfect and things are always going to change, right? But you'll get up there. And if you just stay on the path to mastery, you can continue to help the people that are coming behind you. And if you want, you can continue to keep helping the people that are just getting started. Or maybe because you've moved up a little bit, you change your focus to helping people that are already in the game and starting to do it. And maybe we're encountering some challenges and then you kind of help people on that part of the path, right? So there's lots of ways to do this. Don't get frustrated by the idea or don't even just not start because you don't think you have information to share. Like how often, like this is this, uh, this Facebook group, digital marketing mentorship. That's how that whole thing started. I was doing leadership training, consulting. I still do some of that. Still have a business that does that. Uh, but I was putting my stuff online and showing people how to get their courses and stuff and membership groups and whatever, mostly in the leadership development space online. And people started asking me, how are you doing that? Hey, how are you putting your course online? What is that? And I'm like, get on a call with me. I'll show you or I'll talk to you. Right. And at the time it wasn't even Zoom. It was freeconferencing.com. We get on a conference call and I explain it to them one-on-one, -on -one, one person, right? Just answer their questions. Then I realized a bunch of people started asking me. So I would do like a group call. I'd say, hey, Tuesday night, 7 p.m., whatever, I'm going to have a call. If you want to get on, I'll answer whatever questions you have. And I wasn't charging anything for it. I was just, you know, teaching people. And then I realized like, wait a second, there's probably a business here. It seems like there's a lot of people are asking me this. They already see me as a credible authority in the space. They already trust me. They already know, like, and trust me, which is some of the precursors to people actually doing business with you. So I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, let's make it a business. Let's make it official. So then I started doing courses and membership groups and coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, stuff like that. And then eventually my podcast came about. So if you have people that are asking you questions about things and you hear the same kind of questions from different people, you're probably an authority in that space. Maybe you don't want to use the term expert. That's fine. I get it. But like if people keep asking you how to crochet or how to stay productive or how that you manage to do your own fitness routine where you didn't follow somebody else's thing like 75 hard or beach body or whatever like you just decided i need to get fit and maybe use some of those tools and assets and resources whatever but like you just did your own thing and you charted your own course and you figured it out there's lots of people who can't do that and so they'll ask you like wait how did you do that and then you can share it and this doesn't need to be like a two thousand dollar course right you see a lot of these things online where people are selling these two thousand dollar courses thousand dollar course I've seen people that have been very successful with this kind of stuff selling a seven and ten dollar thing, like an ebook, a twenty-seven dollar thing. One of my friends, Natalie, generated over a million dollars gross revenue, and then some, selling a twenty-seven dollar ebook about a health topic, very specific health topic, and she did great with that. And she wasn't even the authority or the expert. She brought in somebody else to provide some of the expertise. She suffered from that problem and she was like the customer avatar. So she said like, hey, do you have this problem? I have this problem, it's embarrassing, I don't like it. I bet you don't like it either. Wouldn't it be cool if we could solve this problem? Good news, I brought somebody along. Her name is Dr. So-and-so. She's gonna tell us about all of these things. Oh, and if you wanna download my ebook where she talks about all this and more, just click the link below, whatever. That was it. So in a lot of cases, you don't even necessarily need to be the knowledge expert. You could be the knowledge broker. You could be the person, the reporter, right? Think about um, Think and Grow Rich, right? By Napoleon Hill. That book, Napoleon Hill is not really the expert there. He's the author. But he interviewed all of those successful people at the time and just kind of took all their stuff and it's a synthesis or a synopsis of those things. So Napoleon Hill wasn't the expert. It's just the reporter expert or the knowledge broker, the person who brought the expertise to the book. So you could do that too, right? So if you find yourself saying, well, I'm not the expert. Okay, then fine, do it that way. I'm sure there's something that you know about. And there's been things that I've been able to monetize in all different facets of my life, whether it's leadership training, consulting, whether it's this digital marketing stuff. Sometimes um, I was doing stuff with lacrosse. I was heavily involved in the sport of boys lacrosse for 25, 30 years, played it, coached it, refereed it for almost 20 years. People are asking me questions about it. I started creating courses about it. Now, th in this case, it was even a faceless course. So, or in a faceless resource. So I didn't even, I wasn't part of the brand. My name wasn't really on it. I just provided some of the expertise to it and put it out there. So if you're somebody that doesn't want to do this, 
direct to camera or this scares you, I mean, if it scares you, you should probably try it. But there are cases where maybe you don't want to do it or you can't. Okay, I get it. Maybe you have like a non-compete or something. Like I'm not a lawyer. Get check your own legal team, blah, blah, blah. But maybe you, for whatever reason, you can't show your face or have your face be associated with something, but you could still put something out there, right? I think about this, Mark Rober. Many of you have probably seen this guy on YouTube. He's the guy that does the um, the package uh, pirates, the guys who steal uh, packages off the porches. He does the glitter bomb things for porch pirates, right? You've probably seen those videos. He also did one with squirrels in his backyard, and he does all kinds of cool engineering and science videos on YouTube, right? Mark Rober is this guy's name. And he used to work at NASA. He's a NASA engineer. He helped work on some of the rovers that went to Mars, all this stuff. Super smart guy, right? But he does a YouTube channel that is not about sending rovers to Mars or whatever, or engineering necessarily. He shares funny videos about how you take engineering or thinking about science and whatever, and translates that to an audience online, right? And even though he has certifications and works in all these other things, his YouTube channel while the basis of it is the stuff that he kind of worked on day day to day in terms of the, the engineering stuff, that's not really what his YouTube channel is about, right? And he shows up on YouTube and says, like, one of the first videos I ever saw of him is how to beat the, the science thing where, you know, middle school science, they'd give you an egg and a couple packaging materials and say, we're going to drop this egg off the top of the school. Let's see if you can package it up in such a way that it survives the fall, right? And there's all kinds of things they, they try to figure out about you know, velocity and speed and all the stuff. And you need to think about how it's falling and how do you how do you capture some of the energy so that it does, the egg doesn't splat and, and all that stuff, right? So yeah, that's part of it. But his YouTube channel is like super entertaining. What, what I bet you didn't know is that while he was doing the YouTube videos, after he left NASA, he actually worked for Apple. And he was writing patents and stuff for Apple, especially for using VR in their autonomous uh, vehicle stuff. All right, so he's doing all the stuff at Apple that people really don't know about. But his YouTube channel didn't really have anything to do with that. Again, yes, geeky and science, whatever. Like in my case, yeah, I did leadership training, consulting, all that kind of stuff. My digital marketing mentorship group doesn't necessarily have to do with that specifically, but it has to do with a piece of what made me successful with that other stuff, right? So I'm not teaching leadership development, whatever, although I do believe mindset is definitely a piece of it. That's why my podcast started Unleash the Awesome, because I believe that you got to have the right mindset to do some of these things. So I think it's all it all works together, right? But like my podcast is not, it didn't start because I have a certification or a degree in whatever in mindset. I'm not even a psychologist. I don't even try to play one on the internet. Although I've read a lot of the stuff and done a fair amount of deep dives, I bring on people that are really smart. Like I've had Dr. Robert Cialdini on my podcast, the guy who literally wrote the book on influence. And so sometimes I'm the knowledge expert. Sometimes I'm the knowledge broker, whatever. But I'm just connecting people to the information and the resources they need to help solve their problems. That's what my business has become in a bunch of different areas. You could do it too, because that's all it is. The basic definition of an entrepreneur is somebody who helps somebody else solve a problem on a consistent basis and gets paid for it. You can do that online now. And the cool thing about creating online courses and memberships and stuff like that is that or even like a paid podcast. You can't technically have a paid Facebook group by the terms of service, but you could have a paid group where Facebook group is part of it. You could have like a group coaching program or something. There are always ways if you want to figure this stuff out. But there's so many different ways to serve this up. And the cool thing is the profit margins are fat. When you create a digital product, right, besides the the 50, 60, 70 dollar webcam that you need and a couple ring lights and a decent computer and microphone. The only other thing you really need is some software to host it online. You all know I love Kajabi. If you go to gamble.com slash Kajabi, you can get a really cool deal on it. I'll make sure wherever you're watching this, the link is in there. Yes, I'm an affiliate partner of theirs. I love them. I've been with them since essentially day one. Uh, and it's an amazing platform. But anyway, all you really need is then the software to put your stuff online and that's it. So you don't have, you know, rent for a building. You don't have employees. You don't have uh, to pay, you know, additional utilities and stuff like that for a separate building like you would with a, a business, like a brick and mortar business. So once you create the stuff and put it online and, and you get some marketing going, it essentially just becomes an evergreen thing. It just keeps working for you. It becomes an asset that you can leverage over time. If you still want to work your full-time job, cool. Mark Rober was still working at Apple for a really long time. 
And then he decided like, I'm making more money on my YouTube channel through my YouTube channel than I am with Apple. So do I want to continue to do this? And it just became a point where he's like, no, no, I don't. But if you want to do both, you could. And it's not that hard. I mean, this guy was launching really serious, well done, well produced YouTube videos, still working full time at NASA. I don't know what it, at, at uh, Apple. I don't know what his title was, but essentially he's an engineer creating all these cool things, creating intellectual property and patents and all that other stuff. And like essentially doing his YouTube videos on the weekends and nights. You can do the same thing. And then eventually that just becomes an asset for you. Yeah. I can help you with this stuff if you want. Again, all these resources are there for you. I have my resource guide you can get access to if you want. Lots of places for you to gather this information. But I just thought since this week is Independence Day here in the United States, July 4th, uh, might be time for you to think about charting your own path to independence, your own course, your own, literally your own course to independence. Put your own stuff out there to help you because if you just continue down whatever path you're on and it's not getting you the results that you want, no amount of just continuing down that path is gonna get you the results that you want. And that's what I had to wake up and realize myself. Like I had a really good job in corporate America working for a huge pharmaceutical firm and then I worked for a huge software company and they paid me really well and I had some really incredible benefits. But the more I looked at it, the more I realized like as cool as this is, there's other things I want to do with my life and I'm not going to be able to do it both from a time perspective and a financial perspective if I continue doing this thing. I have to do something different. And so I started creating online courses, assets, memberships, whatever that I was charging people for and that helped. And then it got to the point where literally one day when I was working at the software company, they said, uh, hey, we want you to do this thing. And I said, nah, that doesn't feel right. That's not congruent. I don't think that's congruent with the values of the company or whatever. I don't want to do that. And they said, well, we're going to tell you to do that. And I'm like, well, okay, um, I'm not quitting today, but I'm leaving. So, and this isn't necessarily two weeks notice. Well, I'll give you whatever time you need for me to leave, you know, to transition this over to somebody else. But no, I'm not doing that. So if it comes down to me doing that or leaving, I'm leaving. And they're like, oh, and I ended up leaving because I had the ability to create that kind of freedom. I already had something going on the side. It was going really well. And I just was like, you know what? No, I don't need to put up with this anymore. I don't want to do this, right? Office politics, whatever. I'm like, no, we're not doing that. It doesn't sit right with me. I'm not going to be the person who goes in front of people, this organization, and talks about this stuff because it's not congruent with all the other stuff we talk about. If you want somebody else to do it, great. Or if you want me to get up there and be like, listen, I don't believe any of the stuff I'm about to tell you for the next hour, but here it is, right? Who's going to want to sit through an hour of that kind of training? So that, that, that was the other offer I made to them. I said, yeah, we'll put a huge disclaimer up front and say, for the next 60 minutes, I don't believe anything I'm about to tell you. I'm just a spokesperson and I'll be up here and I'll talk about it. <laughs> They're like, well, we can't do that. I'm like, well, then I can't do that. And I just left, right? And I worked out fine. I left on good terms. I didn't burn any bridges or anything. But like, I had the freedom to be able to do that because I was building these assets. And you know, through building my email list, which I can't believe I haven't even mentioned, 18 minutes in, but like through creating my email list, through creating my audience, through creating YouTube channel and Instagram, whatever, all these places for people to follow me and get to know me, get to know, like, and trust me. And I create a tremendous amount of goodwill and reciprocity in the marketplace, just like I'm doing this free teaching right now. I do teaching over on my podcast and my Facebook group and whatever. I continue to do that. And then it gets to the point where somebody's like, well, what's the next step? And I'll say, well, either I have something I can give to you or, or sell you that will help you. I have courses and stuff. Or I've partnered with a bunch of other people in the industry that are world-class at it. And I say, hey, if you need help doing this, go talk to this person. If you need help doing this, this person's a good resource. If you need help building this, here are a couple pieces of software you might want to check out. I really like that one, but here are some other good options. And then I just monetize that piece of it. So in some cases, I don't even have to do the customer fulfillment or anything. I just go, hey, Right. And because and this sounds weird. This world sounds weird to a lot of people. Like, what is this? Is this like multi-level marketing or something like I don't uh, people get an icky feeling about it for whatever reason. I'm like, no, people, especially software companies, have been doing business like this for a really long time. And it's really cool. And I get it that it's new and different if you're not going to a, a cubicle to sit there all day and collect a paycheck every two weeks. Anything else about how you make money is different. Yeah, this is different. But it's a really cool model that's set up. And so you can find some stuff that you really like and that you're really good at and you can teach it and you can get paid to teach it. But you can also, in many cases, get paid to help promote some of the other tools that you use to do that thing. Right. Um, you've all seen a YouTube video where they're like, hey, and they're doing the thing. And then they stop and go, this part of the video is brought to you by whoever. Athletic Greens, AG1. AG1 by Athletic Greens. 
whole, what are they called? Whole food nutrition, whatever. I use athletic greens. Yeah, I have a referral link, gamble.com slash AG1. <laughs> They're not an official sponsor, but I still essentially get my AG1 paid for because I talk about it periodically. It's one less thing I have to pay for. But you've seen that kind of stuff, right? And so it, it doesn't even necessarily, in some cases, have to be congruent with what you do. It's not really, it has to do a lot with digital marketing, a green nutritional green drink, a whole food supplement, 75 whole food ingredients. But people still weave it into their YouTube channels or their podcasts or whatever, right? Some of these are brand deals. Some of these are sponsorship deals. Some of these are affiliate deals. There are so many ways now for you to make money and a lot more money than you're probably making at your job. I'm not making income claims. Your mileage may vary, blah, blah, blah. This is not get rich quick. Yes, you have to put in work. It's not easy, but it is simple. So on and so forth, right? But there, there is a different way. You can chart your own path. Even with writing books now, you used to have to like go through a publisher and they would reject your manuscript or whatever. You can literally write a book, have it published on Amazon in a matter of days. I'm not saying you're going to make a lot of money with your book because a lot of people who, unless you're like a super famous author, you don't make a lot of money with your book, but it becomes a, a social proof thing or a business card or a way to just create some more authority and credibility for you in the marketplace. But then you could also create some courses and some deep dive things that come off of that. So yeah, maybe you make two bucks, three bucks every time somebody buys your book. But through that process, you could say, hey, if you liked all that, you're going to like my course, or you're going to like my coaching program, or you're going to like whatever. It's like so many things have changed, right? So, and, and things are changing faster than ever. Like even doing copywriting and stuff now with all this generative AI stuff, these large language models. I'm sure you've heard of ChatGPT. I use Jasper, which is amazing. Again, wherever you're watching this, I'll share my affiliate link because that's specifically geared towards sales and marketing conversions, writing email campaigns, stuff like that. It will remember your voice. ChatGPT doesn't do that. You can train it a little bit, but it only remembers per chat. Jasper remembered the whole thing. So even that kind of stuff over the last year, six months, even like 90 days has evolved. So somebody like me positioning myself right here, I just continue to provide value and talk about this stuff because this stuff is changing. So instead of me moving up the path of A to Z on mastery, like I talked about before, I've kind of stayed in the same spot knowing that all of this stuff is changing so fast. So I just stay in that spot. And as the new stuff comes, I just help synthesize it and translate it to my audience and say, oh, here comes this AI stuff. Here's probably what you want to pay attention to, what you don't need to pay attention to. If I were you and you're on a tight budget, I would get this thing versus that thing. That's what I talk about in my digital marketing mentorship group. That's what I talk about on my email list a lot. And so for me, that's how I'm providing the value. And so I do that. I'm not getting paid literally right now to do this, but I'm creating a tremendous amount of value for some of you or some one of you at least maybe. You just went, holy crap. Like something I said was just life-changing to you or it finally hits you. Like you've heard it before, but the way I said it, you went, whoa, thank you. And then you go, all right, Dave, I'm, I'm on the path. You said there are some tools that are out there. What should I use? And I'll share some links with you or whatever. And if you decide that software is for you and you like it and you stay with it and it works, I might get a little percentage of it each month that you continue to use it. Doesn't sound like a lot, right? But this is one of those things where I'm sure you've heard this deal of, uh, would you rather take a penny, right? Someone was going to give you um, a million dollars or a penny that doubles every day, right? The, the amount doubles every day for 30 days. What, what would you take? A million dollars or the penny doubling every day for 30 days? I forget the math on it, but the million dollars would be the, the best deal until day 27 or 28 or something like that, where that penny doubled every day it continues to double like around day 28 something like that 29 it goes over a million dollars and then it goes well over a million dollars so if you had 30 days to wait the best thing is to take that penny that's kind of what my business model has been all about i've just been getting a few dollars here and there a few dollars here and there for years and then it was like two dollars here and there and then it was like four dollars and then eight and then 16 and then 32 64 don't ask me to keep doing that i'm not good with math but you get it and there's people who are still using the things that are recommended 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I'm still getting paid on some of those things. It's not a lot. It's five bucks, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, 20 bucks a month or something. But when you get hundreds of people doing that and you give them good advice and the tools that you recommend are what they really need and they continue to use them, right? That's the other cool thing here if you're an economist, economics major, right? The incentives are aligned. 
I, w I don't talk about stuff that I don't think is not going to work. I don't, I only talk about the things that I'm using personally or other people in my sphere of influence are using and getting success with. I share that with other people and nobody wins unless we all win, right? Because if I recommend something to you and it works for you, then, and you stay as a customer for that software, or that company, you got to win. The company got to win because I got a paying customer and I get a win because I'll get a little piece of it. If I give you bogus advice and say, use that software and you go try and you don't like it after a month, nobody wins. You're frustrated because it doesn't work. They don't have a customer anymore and I'm not getting paid anything, right? The incentives are aligned here in this model. And in most of the things you can do online, well, I shouldn't say most of the things, many of the things that I talk about that you can do online are set up like that. Okay. Somebody said, I can't see exactly who it is, but said, good morning. They said, I'm still using Trello that you recommended to me almost 10 years ago. Awesome. Thanks for that feedback. And Trello doesn't even have a referral program or an affiliate program. It's just what I use to manage all my projects day to day and communicate with some of the people I might work with on different teams when I outsource some stuff. It's a great tool, Trello. Go check it out. I actually created a course one time called the Coaching Results Dashboard Course, which was showing people how to use Trello. I made a lot of money with showing people how to use a free software product. Where did I get that idea? I was at a conference and some lady I was sitting at breakfast, I said, what do you do? She said, oh, I show people how to use Evernote. I'm like, what? Evernote's a free software. Like, what? that doesn't make any sense. She goes, do you use Evernote? And I said, yeah. She said, do you know how to use it? I said, well, kind of. She said, exactly. And I went, oh, so tell me about your course. What do you teach? And she said, I teach, you know, kind of do this and how to do power user moves and whatever. And I was like, that'd be super useful to me. Like if I could learn two or three of those things, that would save me hours a day in some cases. How much is your course? $97? Okay, sign me up. So I was showing people how to use Trello and I was doing the same thing, charge like $97. I'm like, look, if you're a coach and you don't want to try to do all your coaching and stuff or pay for coaching software or whatever, here's how you could use Trello. This is what I'm doing with my coaching class. This goes back to what I said at the beginning of this thing 27 minutes ago. I don't have a certification in Trello. I don't work for Trello. Trello doesn't even have an affiliate program, but I was using Trello in a very specific way for a very specific reason to manage my coaching clients, my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients at the time. And I said to other people who were coaching, hey, this is how I'm using Trello. I have a short course on it that'll show you how to use it. Would you like it? And they're like, hell yeah, it'll save me a lot of time. 97 bucks, worth it. Bought it. Again, I'm not a software engineer. I don't work for Trello. I'm not a Trello expert. All right? I just figured out a use case for it, showed people how to do it. You could do that too with a whole bunch of things you do in your life. Probably multiple things you do in your life. You might want to concentrate in one little area initially, one little niche, but like that's there for you. <laughs> and in the comments, right? Somebody said they bought it. The course wasn't even that big. It was like three modules. My Trello course, it was like three, three or four modules that were like 10 minutes long each, maybe. It's just me doing a screen share of like, hey everybody, here I am using my Trello. I like recorded my screen. This is how I set up a new, a new coaching client. I had to set up a new client anyway. I'm just like, you know what? While I'm doing this, why don't I record and talk about it? Okay, here it is. I'm setting it up. I'm doing this. Here's why I'm doing this. I put this over here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I do this. Then I do this. Okay, cool. Module two, I'll talk about how I do this. I recorded my screen. Okay, here's what you do. I do this. And I do this. I do this. Check this out. Okay, good. Oh, cool. Module three, coming up next. That was it. I wasn't, wasn't professionally done. If I'm honest, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't scripted, didn't have a teleprompter. I was just like, hey, wanna see how I do this? Cool, 97 bucks, here we go. And then I did it. And there's people that 10 years later, great course, easy to understand and implement. <laughs> That's it, all you're doing for a lot of these things, it's just, again, on the path of mastery, as you're moving up the path, you just turn around and say to the people who are behind you, just getting started or kind of moving along behind you, hey, uh, I got from here to here doing this. I, if this would be useful to you, here's my little course. Again, it could be a $27 course and you can make millions of dollars with it, depending on the niche, right? But do some quick math. There's 8 billion people on the planet. A little over half of them have access to the internet. So let's just say, frown numbers, 4 billion people. If you've not read this, go check it out. This is a, a concise way to synthesize what I just talked about for the last 30 minutes. There's a blog post by this guy named Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly, just like you think you'd spell it. Kevin Kelly, uh, 1,000 true fans. And he talks about how if you just found 1,000 people 
who would invest $100 a year on your stuff, that's $100,000. That's a six-figure business. For a lot of you, even though that would be gross, a gross number, $100,000, for a lot of you, you could leave your job. That would be that'd be life-changing in some cases. For some of you, if that you just created that part-time, that'd be amazing. Like some of you are just like, wait, $100,000 part-time? What? Yeah. 1,000 true fans. Kevin Kelly, go read it. It just kind of gives you the basic idea. Then you can change that math however you want, whatever makes sense for you. If you need 1,000 people to do 1,000 bucks a year, sounds like a lot of people, right? But let's go back to this math. 8 billion people on the planet, about 4 billion have access to the internet. Last I heard about half of those can probably speak English. So if you can't speak other languages, okay. But now with AI and some other things, you can have all your stuff translated. Mr. Beast translates all of his stuff in multiple, multiple languages, although he's paying translators to actually dub them. But there's some software now that can do that for you. So again, let's just even say uh, 2 billion is your total addressable market, 2 billion people that you could have access to, right? I just told you 1,000 is the magic number, okay? 1,000. Could you find 1,000 people to do 100 bucks a year with you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. There are many people um, in my different communities that have thousands of people paying them thousands of dollars a year. So in some cases, multiple thousands, tens of thousands of people paying them tens of thousands of dollars a year. Is that possible for you? It's possible. Again, I'm not making income claims, whatever. But I think the, the reason I want to come on today is just to let you know it's possible. Like I'm doing it. There's other people doing it. We're doing it all kinds of niches, all kinds of things that Frankly, I didn't even know where things. Sometimes I go to these conferences and meet people and I go, what do you do? And they're like, oh, I teach people in this niche to do this with that. And I'm like, hold up, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, don't take this around. Oftentimes I have to go, I have to soften my my uh, my response a little bit. I'll go, wait, 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 hold up. Don't, don't take this the wrong way. I'm just totally amazed. Like. What do you do? I've never even heard of that. Or I've heard of that, but like, really? There's people that are into that? And they're like, oh yeah, I have a Facebook group of like 30,000 people in it. I'm like, really? Hmm. Right? And not being judgmental, but just like, I'm doing other things in other parts of my world. Like, I've never even thought of that thing or never even heard of that thing in some cases. Like the lady who is showing people how to use a free software, Evernote. It's like, what? I just didn't compute. So I think for a lot of you, you're, like as you're listening to me, some of this isn't computing, but I'm telling you, it's like it's like I'm opening a door to a whole nother world for you. Right? This is really a whole nother world. And I was incredulous too. When somebody kind of talked about this to me, I'm like, come on, man. It sounds too good to be true. And they're like, whatever, man. Just come, come and see. And I'm like, okay. And then I took a few more steps through the door and I'm like, this seems too good to be true. But whoa, look at that. And whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Hmm, interesting. And then still doubt, fear and doubt, step in a little further into the room. Wow, maybe I could do this too. And then you meet some people that are like, well, wait a second, I'm smarter than that person or I could like do better than that. Well, guess what? This is, I'm going to end it with this. this is, here's your punch in the face 33 minutes in. Get ready. <laughs> there are some people right now on this planet who are making a hell of a lot more money than you are with a lot less effort. And they're no smarter than you, could even be dumber than you, but they're having success simply because they chose to implement. Simply because they chose to get in the game and do the work. <laughs> happens to me all the time. I'll see some up on a stage or I'll read this book and I'm like, I know everything in this book. I know everything about that keynote. I know like I, I could teach that. I forgot more about this subject than that person will ever know. But I didn't step forward and do it. I didn't step forward and talk about it. I didn't step forward and implement it. There are people right now who are way worse at whatever it is you're good at that are out there being super successful just because they're in the game and doing it. You could have that success too. You just have to do it. And I just got somebody in the comments with the like, they just got punched in the face reaction. And I punch you lovingly in the face, by the way. I, I say these things out of out of love for you. Like, I know sometimes you just need a pattern interrupt to be like, whoa, but seriously. Like, just look around. Look at some of the courses. Look at the, some of the things that are online. You'd be like, what? First of all, whoa, lots of opportunity. Two, whoa, I could do that. Three, I know way more about that than this person is talking about. 
Okay, fine. Instead of sitting there and judging them, why don't you get in the game? Why don't you do it? Why don't you chart your own path to freedom? It's here for you. It's possible. You just have to do it. See ya.